So, who wants to learn how to interview their tarot deck? A lot of my following on TikTok has asked me to um, show them how I interview my tarot decks. And here we go. I just got a new tarot deck sent to me today and I'm about to do the interview process. So this is how I do it. Stay tuned if you are interested in learning how I do this. To interview a tarot deck, you ask. Um, when you're getting a deck, especially if it's more than one, it helps you understand the energy of the messages you're going to be receiving later. First of all, how you can best work with it, um, what type of situations might be appropriate to ask the deck. Um, like ultimately, can you ask the tarot any question, but some tarot decks apparently are stronger at one type of message over another. Um, that's what I found to be true at least. If you own more than one deck, this might be a way to separate the uses of the decks. Like when you're wanting to divine a message about a specific situation. So my Rider White deck may be the Jack of all trades. I can use that deck for every situation, but like maybe my Bianco Nero deck is better for making decisions about my career. Like, I, I don't know, we're about to find out. Keep watching. My spot set up on my floor in my living room because it has good lighting in here. Um, interviewing Bianco Nero today, the white Nero. Um, I created a review for this as well. I'll link that video in the description below if you're interested in seeing more about what this deck's about. I have this rose oil I'm gonna to put to um, put on my hands before I start handling the deck. I do this before any reading really, but um, definitely this oil, I've blessed it on my altar. It's got my energy all over this, so it's just gonna help me transfer my energy onto the cards um, that much better, yeah. Oh, obviously you're gonna shuffle your deck really thoroughly. Make sure you get your hands all over every single card, cleanse it, whatever you need to do for your ritual to introduce your energy to this deck. This is doesn't necessarily have to be the first reading you do with the deck. I just like to do it either way. Um, the first card that you're gonna draw for the interview is a card to describe the deck, like how it's describing itself. Five of Wands, dope. Second card you're gonna pull is the strengths of the deck. So cool, 10 of cups, that's your strength. The third card you're gonna pull is the weaknesses of the deck. So seven of cups, interesting. I'll tell you what I think this means at the end. The fourth card is how the deck describes you. Aw, thank you. The last card is how to best collaborate with the deck. Six of Pentacles, interesting. And then I always make note of the shadow card, which is like basically the tone of the reading. Makes sense. So without looking at the guidebook, I'm getting the sense that this deck is going to be uh, all about setting boundaries. So as to avoid conflict, Strength is setting boundaries within my family, Ten of Cups, so I can bring more harmony to my family and my loved ones. Its weaknesses is um, making choices for me. It's going to, like Seven of Cups is all about choices and having different roads open. This is all, this deck is saying, I'm not gonna make the choice for you. It's gonna show you what my choices are so I can choose appropriately. How it describes me, Wheel of Fortune. That's just really nice. I feel like this is saying um, I'm leveling up, I'm reaching a turning point in my life, and how to best collaborate with it. It's six of Pentacles. Um, since it's all about sharing, setting boundaries, this deck is going to allow me to see where I'm giving my energy and what's appropriate and what's going to give me a balanced decision when I'm consulting these cards. The shadow of the situation is like healing trusting my intuition, keeping an open mind about whatever my choices are. So, cool. I'll say when I'm doing a deck interview, I will consult the guidebook um, for the definition to get further understanding of the tone of the language that the deck may use to um, give a message, if that makes sense, because the author of the deck is the one that inspired the deck, they created the deck, 
Therefore, it, the author's voice is going to be, I don't know. Does that make sense? I don't know. That's just my philosophy. So like five of wands, I have an idea of what that means, but maybe it means something different to this author. So I just want to like see what that means. Yeah, strife, competition, conflict. <laughs> it's describing himself as conflict. Ten of cups is what? Doing this one hand, it says, bear with me. Emotional fulfillment, domestic harmony, successful. See, I wasn't, I wasn't far off. So, love this deck. Love this. I like to refer to the guidebook, um, not only during this session, but like, if there's ever a time, just quick back while I got you, quick tip while I got you, and watching me. If you're ever pulling cards over and over and over and you're not quite understanding the meaning and this is like a deck that's new to you, you're still understanding its energy, always refer to the guidebook because the guidebook more often than not is going to have something that hits a little bit different with every single deck. That's just a tip. And if you wanted to, um, screenshot this spread for your own tarot journal, you can write it out. I always think it's a good practice to write out your spreads not every single time, especially for like a daily reading, but um, just something you can set in writing so that your energy, your spirit guides, whoever you're divining a message with, understands where you want your cards placed within a spread and understands what like number one means to describe myself. My cat is fucking up my living, my dining room right now. So I apologize for the input. Yeah, screenshot this if you wanna keep it for your own stuff. I am a massive fan of tarot spreads. I use them pretty often, um, especially with my professional readings that I do. It just helps me keep my or, um, my messages more organized and therefore less stressful when I'm going into a reading. Um, so I know what to expect, if that makes sense. Um, either way, if you ever if you want more ideas for tarot spreads, let me know in the comments what you might be interested in. A spread for. Um, I probably have the answer for you. Be happy to make a video. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to me. Like, like me, subscribe to me. That'd be cool. Um, I'll also link my social media in my description in the bio or description in the description bar. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day.